Hey, imagine someone's on your event page and they're about to buy tickets. You know, they're right there on the buy tickets button, but they decide to close their browser or go to a different URL. So I'll kind of show you what that would look like. Boom, what can you do? You can show them an exit intent pop-up. So this is something that would happen right before they're about to leave. And you can say, hey, let's give you a $5 off promo code. Just give me your email address. And this is a clever way to do some marketing for your event. Okay, so let's dive in. Um, in this example, I'm a, I have a free popped-in account that I signed up for, um, no monthly fee, it's just a basic account. It's gonna have their name on the bottom. Um, there's other tools out there too, like ConvertBox is also a great product, but for this demo right now, I'm gonna use popped-in. And so I've just created my account, I just logged in, and now I'm gonna click the option right here to create a new popped-in. And we have a couple of different things we could do. What you wanna do in this video is make an exit intent pop-up. So if someone's on our event page, but moves their mouse over to that back button or to the address bar to change the URL or to close the window, this pop-up is gonna appear. And let's do something where we give them like a 10% off code or something of that nature. So they get their email address. The benefit of that is you can do a drip email. You might be able to put them on your newsletter list, your MailChimp. Um, just a lot of cool things we can do once we have their email address. So we're gonna choose the option to create a pop-up. And we're pretty much gonna, the goal really is for an announcement. And there's a couple different templates I can work with. Um, I've often gone with this one right here. It's a pretty simple one, but let's go with this kind of salesy one. Um, I can click preview to see what it looks like. This is what it would look like. Um, and if you want something that's a little bit more basic, you can always go with this one right here and you can just swap out, swap out that graphic. Um, but for now, I will go with this one right here. So I'll click customize, which basically selects it and allows me to put my details in. So in this example today, we're gonna to put it on one client's website and this is the URL of their website. So just pop that in right there. I will do it without the HTTP and I'll say um, we uh, drive in um, pop-up, just like that. And it's on by default, that's perfectly fine. I'll click customize to get to that next step. All right, so this is where we can sort of craft our message here. So we want to give them, you know, a $5 off, for example. I can always just modify this right here to say $5. Um, let's go ahead and move it over here so um, we, we match that same color. Click the delete button. And um, so we want to give them like a $5 uh, promo code. That would work totally fine. And um, yeah, so that would work totally fine. Um, and again, as I mentioned, with the free package with popped in, it'll have this in the bottom. Um, if you upgrade to another package, they, they will strip that off. It's called um, white label. Um, and minimum order, uh, that's totally fine too. Yeah, so this is great. Um, it's a pretty simple pop-up. And if I wanna add any other text elements or a picture of a movie, I can totally do that. Email and integrations. Um, if I want to do an automatic email that they would get, um, after they submit that, this is where I would do it. And I would recommend, you know, pre-creating a promo code for $5 off. And um, you could put that in the email that they would get automatically. Um, you could do that as an autoresponder. Autoresponders are not in the free plan, by the way. So um, you'll have to do another integration to really achieve that. Um, so at this point, I will click the next button. And now I'll set up my rules. And this is where it gets tricky. So right now it's gonna display automatically after on the page for five seconds. We don't want that. So I'm gonna turn that off right here. But what we do want is exit intent. And actually, if you did wanna have a delay in the page, I would increase it to something drastic, like maybe 55 seconds. So if they're on the page for almost a full minute and haven't left the page, then you could do this pop-up. Um, actually, never mind. we'll turn that off. Um, we'll just do exit intent only for right now. And um, we don't want this for the mobile. Um, we'll just strictly just do it for the desktop version, so I'll turn that off. And if we only wanted it for a certain page, we could do that too. Let me show you what that would be. So I'm gonna expand page targeting. So here's our event page, and we only want this for the James Bond movie. So I'll go ahead and select it right here. And this is the URL. Now, this is what makes this URL unique, is this um, event ID. What I'll do right now is I will copy just this part right here. And over here uh, where it says contains, I'll paste in that. So it won't appear on any other page, just this page alone.
And let's also make sure it doesn't appear after the order is complete. So when an order is complete, the URL looks like this right here, where it has the order ID. Um, the word is complete equals true is in there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna close this right now. I'm gonna go back to my display rules and I'll say, hey, and also cannot contain is order is, is complete. Awesome, and that is it. Um, I will click on publish. And I'll go ahead and um, click my pop in here. Basically, I'm gonna, I want to get that embed code. Um, so I'll click installation code right here and I'll click any website. And this is the code right here. So I'll hit copy and now I'll paste it on the back of my simple text site. So this right here is the back end of my simple text site. I've clicked settings and now I'll go over to this conversion tracking code. And this is just some JavaScript that you can kind of use for anything. If you want to put like Facebook pixels or Google tag manager or Google analytics, you can put it all right here, just any kind of JavaScript. And what I'll do is I will put this JavaScript um, below my existing JavaScript and there it is. And it's always important to know whenever you put in um, a JavaScript into your site, make sure it says HTTPS. Um, if you put in a JavaScript that says HTTP, that's kind of weird. You don't want to do that because people are going to get a security lock, kind of a weird issue. Um, so now um, I'll click the save button here and now it's been saved. So our next step is to republish that event page. So I'm going to go over to events and go ahead and now click my event. And I'll click the save button on the top of the page right now. And that just republishes the page. Um, things like this make simple text run fast. All right, so I've opened up a brand new window in Google Chrome. It's incognito mode, which is control shift N, which opens that up. And we always recommend doing that whenever you're testing because it opens up the page without any cookies or anything like that. So it's almost like a new computer. All right, so we're on the page right now and I'll scroll up and I'll scroll down. It doesn't really matter. But this is how to test um, your pop-up. So exit intent means you're about to leave the page. So what I'll do right now is I'll get ready to close the browser. My mouse is slowly moving right now. And as soon as I get up here, boom, the pop-up pops up as we expect. And this is what we designed on the earlier screen where we're getting a, you're giving me a $5 discount. So I'll go ahead and put an email address in here. I'll go with media at simpletix.com. And I'll click, I want this coupon. And it closes. So now let's go back into Popton and make some more changes. Um, so now that I'm logged into Popton, I'll go over to pop-ups and over here's my pop-up. I'll click the edit here and we're gonna edit the design. Now, right now, when I um, completed that um, form, I said I wanted the coupon, it closed automatically. But let's say we actually give it to them directly on the page. So I'll go over saying the button submission doesn't close it. It goes to a thank you screen. And over here in the thank you screen, just like before, I can click and I can start making edits. So I'll say, um, you know, thank you. Um, here is the um, $5 off discount code. And I can just say, you know, five off. Um, yeah, and they'll modify this. So it's a little bit wider. It's a little bit cramped right now. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do. You could have put that code directly in the autoresponder so they didn't see the code until they opened up that email. But I would recommend if they're directly on your event page, don't make them leave and go to their email. Instead, just show them the promo code right there. Um, we're good to go, but if you want to go a step beyond it, what you also can do with SybilTix is um, you basically could show this page for like, um, let's say nine seconds and then redirect them to another URL. Now with Simple Six, you have the ability to put the promo code into the URL, and when that URL loads, the promo code is pre-applied to their order. So what you can also do is do promo code equals and five off. And when I say five off, you can make your promo code anything you want, but in this example, we're just gonna go with five off for $5 off. Um, on the back end of Simple Six, you'll have to create the promo code for $5 off. Um, yeah, and there you go. Um, and then I'll click publish. And now this is saved. Let's do another test. So I've closed that last browser, which was incognito mode. I opened up another incognito mode. The reason why I keep creating new incognito mode browsers is sometimes with the popped in, you'll have a setting that says, hey, only show this one time and you don't get it again each time. The benefit of doing incognito mode is um, each time you close it, it's like a brand new browser. So you'll be able to test it again. 
Um, if you're testing this and you're not seeing the pop-up, it's probably because of that. You have a cookie on your computer that's preventing it. Um, so here I am on the page. I'll put my mouse up here and that should trigger it. Nope, it didn't trigger it. Um, and that could be because I have another incognito mode open and I do. All right, so let me kill that one. Go incognito mode again. And then put it up here. There it is. So that other incognito mode was blocking the pop-up um, because I already had the cookie open. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this out. So I'll say um, pretty much anything at anything. I will click, I want that coupon. And boom, it instantly shows me that coupon right there for $5 off. And within the um, seven seconds or nine seconds, whatever we had, it automatically redirected to this URL. And that promo code is pre-applied. So that was a real promo code. Um, on the next page, when I select tickets, I'll see it with that discount. Now on the back end of your popped in account, you'll actually see how many people have engaged with your pop-up. Um, so here we have three people on desktop computers. We turned it off on purpose for smartphones because I thought it was too overwhelming. But if you want to turn it on for smartphones, you can totally do that. And the conversion rate is how many people saw it and actually put it in their email address before the close button popped up and 50-50 there. So if you want to see the email addresses of the people that filled out that form under conversions, um, I see number one here, go ahead and click that. And over here, you'll see the people that filled out that form. And here's just the emails. Um, so at this point, I haven't connected it with an autoresponder, so they're not getting those emails. And I haven't connected this with AWeber or MailChimp or Constant Contact, so they're not going into any drip funnel. But if you want to supercharge your marketing, that's what you'd want to do. Basically connect it with another tool like AWeber or MailChimp or Zapier. So that way they're automatically on your email list. Um, in this case, it's a drive-in movie. So it'd be kind of cool to collect their email addresses and automatically um, alert them every time a new email or no, every time a movie is released. All right. Well, thanks for watching this video today. If you found it useful, please smash that like button. Thank you.